Now, I wanted to make this video to not only highlight just how amazing of a preacher Stephen Lawson is, and if you don't know who that is, please check out his sermons here on YouTube. His name is Stephen Lawson. He is a reliable source of truth. Now, the way he has faithfully glorified Christ through his amazing expository preaching over the years has been a great example to young men like myself. Now, I'm going to play a clip in which Stephen Lawson is not only brutal in his attack on Joel and false teachers alike, but he's also hilarious. Now, even though we shouldn't make it a point to continually attack false teachers, there comes a time when these wolves in sheep's clothing need to be called out by name. And that's what Stephen does in this clip. Romans 16, 17 through 18. I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrines that you have been taught. Avoid them, for such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by smooth talk and flattery they deceive the hearts of the naive. Ephesians 5, 11. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. So, listen, I don't want to hear any comments about, well, why didn't he first go to him? Why didn't he first approach Joe behind closed doors before doing this? No, Stephen Lawson has every right to expose and to address false teachers. Because we've had ministers on our program who said, you either believe in Christ or you don't. If you believe in Christ, you're going to heaven. And if you don't, no matter what you've done in your life, you ain't. I wonder what minister would ever say that on the Larry King <laughs> program. It wasn't Deepak, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Listen to the response of one of the biggest, grandest Christian so-called leaders in America. Yeah, I don't know. I still think he'd make a great weatherman someday, but... His wife's really a better preacher, but anyway. So here it goes. Can we get some air conditioning in here? To Larry King, yeah, I, I don't know. There's probably a balance between, I believe you have to know Christ, but I think that if you know Christ, if you're a believer in God, that you're going to have some good works. I think it's a cop-out to say I'm a Christian, but I don't ever do anything. Well, that, even, that doesn't even answer the question. Ministers on who said, your record don't count. You either believe in Christ or you don't. If you believe in Christ, you are, you are going to heaven. And if you yeah. don't, no matter what you've done in your life, yeah. you ain't. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, there's probably a, a balance between, I believe you have to know Christ, but I think that if you know Christ, if you're a believer in God, you're going to have some good works. And I think it's a cop-out to say, well, I'm a Christian, but I don't ever do anything to help. King, what if you're Jewish, as he is? What if you're a Muslim, and you don't accept Christ at all, question mark? The answer, you know... <laughs> I'm very careful about saying who would and who wouldn't go to heaven. I don't know. What if you're Jewish or Muslim and you don't accept Christ at all? You know, I, I just, I'm very careful about saying who and would and wouldn't go to heaven. I don't know. I think King, if you believe you have to believe in Christ, they're wrong, aren't they? Referring to the Jews, referring to the Muslims. The answer. I'm just reading this, okay? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I believe they're wrong. I spent a lot of time in India with my father. I don't know about all their religion, but I know they love God. No, they don't. They hate God. 
think only God. If you believe, you have to believe in Christ. I so believe they're, they're wrong, aren't they? Well, either. I don't know if I believe they're wrong. I, I've spent a lot of time in India with my father, and uh, you know, I don't know all about their religion, but I know they love God. And I don't know. I'd have to, you know, I've seen their sincerity, so I don't know. I just, I know. I don't know. I've seen their sincerity, so on worldwide television, so I don't know. Give us some men who know the truth. And who will declare the truth. And who will stand with Athanasius and Polycarp and Calvin and Luther and Whitfield and Edwards. And who will declare from the housetops that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation.